Hello, everybody. Welcome back to... <laughs> oh, I don't want to say it. Welcome back to another Suck Sesh, the penultimate episode. I I hear it till there's a funeral, so sure we got gussied up, but I figured a, a bit of a darker number was in order today. We have Church and State, Logan Roy's funeral, and as far as we're aware, uh, old Romulus, as it were, old Row Row Your Boat, is the only one that's going to be showing question mark the election got uh, real hairy real fast i'm sure my questions will be answered immediately into the episode but i, I all i know by the end of the last one is that atn prematurely called the election but I, I i assume that you know the votes will still come in and atn does kind of have an inherent influence in its own sphere and cultural settings so i'm sure that mankin did in fact officially win so there's the recent election results. There's the discourse and the battle going on between the Sibs right now. I'm not going to use the word combative, but there's a lot of discourse in the comments of the last one regard regarding the election. Good points made down here, though. Somebody said Greg didn't really fold. Shiv overplayed. He asked what she offers, and she offered nothing. So, you know, I, I, I didn't quite realize that, and that's a very good point. Like, Greg... For as much of a wet noodle as he was getting into all this, he is at a point now where he knows kind of he, he'll do he'll do a, a quid pro quo, hmm, Clarice. But everyone was playing their game. <laughs> he said he said they're all hypocrites, pretty much Logan Light. Shiv revealed to Tom finally that she was pregnant. My little guests that were supposed to join me for the last two episodes have been delayed, but I promise they my little guest stars will be here <laughs> in the in the series finale. There will be a funeral. There will be the the fallout from from the election, and then I think ultimately we're gonna we're working up to the board decision for the Gojo acquisition. I don't know which way that's gonna go, but something tells me that we're gonna deal with that mostly in the series finale. Ken and Roman have co CEO positions, but I know Ken's trying to vie for power to be the as he told Frank one crown. Roman has the in with Mankin, so he kind of has that power dynamic going on, and he really wants to try to, I'm sure, like, weasel his way into his own form of ultimate power. Shiv is going to get with Madsen now to try to get ahead of Madsen's uh, funky number situation. Pull some moves, I guess. Connor conceded to Mankin, and hopefully he gets something out of the deal. I don't know, maybe just some type of, like, diet political position, or Mankin will just give him some busy work. I think it's safe to say after everything's said and done that uh, we can all agree logan roy would be rolling over in his grave if he were in it yet this is the last episode where uh, i'll be accepting votes for what show we're going to watch next granted i have plans for there to still be multiple reaction shows on this channel as much as i love doing movie reviews and i'm still going to do movie reviews i realize that a predominant amount of people have come to the channel for the reactions and love doing them so i'm obviously going to do them but i want to respect the audience that's uh, that's been slowly accumulating here so qr code on the screen link in the description the vote for the primary show we're going to watch right now is between severance dark and mr robot of course when season three of the bear drops i'll be trying to binge and watch all of that and i have had some requests uh some kind of personal heartfelt requests for other shows one might have some homo erotic uh, vampires and one might just be i don't know something a little bit different something a little bit spicy perhaps an anime that i've been meaning to watch for many many years and just never have a lot of content coming your way in any case and hopefully it's all good and entertaining Ah, uh, no cold open. It's always a little bit spooky when there's like no cold open. It's like when Barry's credits stopped putting the music in in season four. You know, you, you knew like it was getting serious. To prevent the certification of election results until all absentee ballots are tallied. Meanwhile... Oh, right there. Look at that. There's no official certification yet. Are you kidding me? Oh. Menace supporters are making their voices heard at a number of demonstrations uh -oh. around the country including outside the Manhattan offices of ATN, who first called the election for Jared Mankin. Crowds of Damn, ATN's going under. ...make their way towards ATN's headquarters with reports of a number of instances of street violence and intimidation. The oh. is urging the public order. You hear that? Violence and intimidation reports of it? Like, that's the thing. I wonder how many reports make it through all the crazy things that this family says to each other <laughs> and all the legit just, like... 
abuse of power and harassment of employees and misuse and mismanagement. I do truly wonder from an outsider perspective, from an HR, from like a corporate perspective, just how much actually does get reported. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of things, a lot of dirt that could be easily dug up on these kids. I'm very jealous of every one of these kids. Look at this, this penthouse, this view, this amazing, oh my God, I, I would kill. You know how much that cost? My father, Logan Roy, was a great man. Oh, prepping the speech. Born the middle child of three. He was sent away during the Second World War. Sad, sad, sad. I look good. I look good. He's prepping himself now emotionally, but I've got a very strong feeling that once he's there in the room, it actually is going to legitimately hit him. And I think we might get the first genuine, like, Roman cry, like, breakdown. That's my prediction for this. He almost, when he got the news, like, he was getting there. He was, he was, uh glassy-eyed, watery-eyed for sure. We've seen some, like, even get upset and frustrated, but a full-on Romulus breakdown? Like, not not quite, but it's all in there. As you can see, you're the man. Here I am, talking loudly about my father. Indeed. Don't I perhaps remind you of him? Oh, Just no. A little. Uh, you don't remind me of your father, but that's a good, that's a good human, thing. I am King Dong. I am the King of Dong. Bow down King, to me. King Dawn, yeah. I see Shippy cry. See Kenny die. See Roman the showman light up the sky. Glad he's having this little self pep talk to give us some exposition. That's his whole plan, literally. Out with Ken, up with Roman. I'm the man. I got this all figured out. I'm making moves. I got plans. I mean, things are low key working out for him. The other shoe's gonna drop. His demise was carried, written in fire, pulsed electric in a flash seven continents into newspapers that he started networks he launched through fiber he laid satellites we built Speech father like with your this. permission oh no applause all around come oh, on no. let her rip poor taste <laughs> we love you it's not gonna it's not gonna go how you think buddy maybe we're What's gonna up? have like an off script moment uh, you okay yeah i'm okay i'm good i'm actually like honestly i'm excited he huh? can win he blocks the deal it's you know it's exciting times interesting times do you oh, think geez maybe get jared to turn Discord makes my cord. Discord! It is the funeral. Oh, he fucking love it. Are you kidding me? Interesting. Roman volunteers to take the heat for the funeral. And now we got some like last minute input. I guess, I guess most people do want a funeral to be a somber affair. When my best friend died, though, we didn't really have a funeral for him. We had a like a, a celebration of life. It was a coming together to share all of the things that he loved and the interests and you know just have a fun time speak highly some tears shed together sure but i guess your average like tom dick and sally would want to have like an official put this in the church open casket look at them one last time i'll see you at a uh, shivsky's right okay hey romo i'll, I'll see you there roll deep hey. oh he is going hey 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 ken um Listen, I, I just want to say that I am concerned, okay? Everybody's saying that, that there's going to be major disturbances no, today, yeah, and thank you. Rumors. Okay, I'm with regret. What do you mean, uh, I'm going to go with no. the ships, but he'll pick no. you guys up. Okay, yeah, no, Ken, listen, I think we made... I think we're going to head upstate today. And smart. I, I'm not really smart. sorry, but that is... Get out of the city. That is my decision. Dude, okay? literally, he's not reading the writing on the wall. There's going to be riots on one, if not both sides at this point. Even in Tennessee, this happened uh, after, um, you know, George Floyd, rest in peace. Uh, we we had, I think we only had one day where it was, where things got a little bit spicy. But uh, especially downtown in the city, there was, there was, there was people in the streets and there were some windows broken and some people got hurt. But that's the nature of this. Of Yeah, this is what's going to happen. Mangan's accepting ATN's... <laughs> <laughs> like pre-declaration as gospel, right? It's gonna get messy. Yeah, Rava needs to get the kids out of there, or else they might get hurt. Um, we're gonna go to Travis and Robert. What are you even talking about? Ken, it, it just it does not feel safe today. Okay, this is just what we need to do. All right. Where are you, now? Right. are you now? Are you on the road? Have you left yet? No, we haven't left, but we're. But great. I want to be at Rava's in three minutes. Th okay, I'll figure out fines and violations. Just get us there now. <laughs> what a sh show huh? uh huh like uh the power i swear the money yeah three watching? minutes yeah i reckon you should get your bad numbers out no, i don't know oh is his hair done like, if you have a little dicky maybe you don't go to the nudist beach lucas Ooh. yeah a tsunami just came and washed Bro. everything away no one is checking the dicks get them out oh, he's not You're so forceful oh my god well how do we get around Mencken? 
real, right? That he's blocking the deal over regulatory. He's out of tune with some, some deep sentiments in this country. Yeah, well, you, you've been a democracy for like 50 years, so. What? <laughs> no, I mean, Damn. well, okay. No, not unless you don't count black people, which is kind of a bad habit, so you. Okay, yes, <laughs> but it's a little more complicated Yikes. than that. So you are nearly as mature a democracy as Botswana. <laughs> so I should reach out. But he's going to be there today. Yeah, so. Get Ebba. I don't, I don't, I don't like this for her. He's, she's like, get the numbers out, get it, like, get them out. They're going to come out because you know, that's what they're going to do if they start hitting them with like regulatory and the, and he's like, oh, well, you know, I, I don't know if we need to bring the numbers out. The numbers look bad. Why would I bring them out? She is right. Most often with a situation like this, if you know that something's going to come out, it is better to get ahead of it. It's going to be bad either way. I guess it was the way I was raised. It's like breaking the rules as a kid. If I got ahead of it and at least told my, you know, my mom what I did wrong or what happened, there would still be punishment, but she would appreciate it and express as such and the punishment wouldn't be as severe. I believe that if you ever screw up either with your friends in your relationship or at work, it is like Shiv's saying, it's get ahead of it. Honesty, I honestly believe honesty is the best policy. I would rather call me a lot of things, call me an asshole, call me a dick, call me a, a meanie McPoopy head or whatever. But one thing I'm not is a liar. And that's, I will, even if it's at my detriment, I'll, I'll get the truth out there. Oh my God, he's gonna roll up on Rava. By the way, I uh, appropriately, my diagnosis got called out in the last episode because I was trying to give him props for taking some kind of action in relation to having Rava and the kids followed. But I mean, yeah, end of the day, the fact is he didn't communicate it properly. And although he was well-intentioned, for lack of a better term, major party foul on old Ken doll here. What are you doing? Okay, okay. What do you think you're doing? Ken, Ken. What? Ken. What the f is going on? Are you just getting out of here? Why is he so upset? Getting, well, that's hysterical yes. bullshit. Okay, Ken. you're not you're not bringing the kids to their grandfather's funeral. Are you insane? Oh, there is that. Don't I don't consider it safe. You're 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 too online. Okay, okay, you've lost context. You're too online. Everything is fine. You said that Daniel would win. Our daughter well, is not fine. Go. Nothing is you fine. Can't you go. don't get out of my way. Do not Stop fuck it. with me today. Ken. Are you do not fuck with me today? No, no, you you go up against him. Get out of here. He has no right. He has no right. He, he's gonna be a hot head and start. This is why you're not together. This is why. I swear. Am I a good father? No. Am I a good person? I don't know, Ken. This is not. This is not okay. She's their mother, and she takes more care of them than you do. And she, I, whatever, man. You need to stop. You Game, need to get him. Down. Hey guys, Soph, open up. Okay, you've got to stop. Reel it in. I do not Reel consider it, in. it safe. It's okay. Bull Pretext. You're trying to hurt me. No, no. It's my fucking no. father's funeral. I'm really sorry. Okay, but we are gonna go, and there will be a memorial. He didn't and want a memorial. He didn't sorry. want a memorial. I'm gonna go to court to get an emergency court order to stop you leaving the city. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Okay, sure. we'll do that. Okay? I'm going to block your car. I'm going to lie in front of your f***ing car. What are you going to do? Ken, out of control, Ooh, so man. So who gave them the timeline? He is behaving like a like a Logan Light, honestly. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. It's such a shitty situation. Oh, they have a whole article. Oh my god, I told you. I told you this was going to like make news. Behind the controversial call at ATN. I think, if anything, hell, Sid was fired at just the right time, wasn't she? Jesus. What does that say? The flailing and handmaiden in the Wisconsin call? Chairman of Global Broadcast. Jesus. Who gave them the timeline? Well, a lot of people know. A lot of people don't want to go to The Hague for war crimes. Ooh. Well, there's not much of me, you know? There's a great graphic of Darwin. Diminishes what, my role. I'm tarred with a mankin enough? brush, so I might, may as well get my goodies, right? There's no point joining the party unless you get your little dacha. Mm -hmm. I don't worry. No, you'll get front page news when you get arrested. I don't. It'll. It'll be fine there, Mr. Wamsgans. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. What? The funeral, right? I mean, I. Are we going? Feel the need for closure. I would like to grieve. I would well, like. Well, I do. To... I do too. I do too. I'm a wheel man. Well, I'm a casket wheel man. I'm front right. It's... <laughs> fine. Fine. Hey. Off. He was Fuck in the off. plane Thank when you. it happened. Save me a place, though. A good place. Save okay, second place. row. And tell the Menken team that I made the call, okay? Oh tell Menken God. that I swung it for him. And you may as well walk, because it's gridlock. Oh, my God. What a setting, by the way. This is... 
I love the setting for the episode. The, what timing? What timing? This is insane. You're all this stuff is happening so close together. Uh, you're, <laughs> dude, our, my hair is gonna go gray just from watching this. You're telling me election day happened, and the following day, it's 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 not solidified. ATM made a controversial call. They're under like legal as well as network as well as like public scrutiny now. Plus, the day after election day is Logan Roy's in funeral <laughs> like what and so now the day of the funeral is the day where new york city is pre pretty much on lockdown gridlock traffic oh my god so they're gonna try to attend a funeral in the middle of all this riots are on the edge of breaking out this is insane and of course tom is trying to take credit for swinging it toward mencken okay now come in thank you jesus okay so i thought roman was the only one going but i guess he's there just taking the, the speaking roles is what he meant when he said take the emotional like burden it may it would make sense if everybody's at the funeral and there's the traffic they're gonna have bottles of piss hurled at them is he gonna come today Mankin? is matson oh, doesn't know when he's beat you should be pleased Mankin wins blocks the deal we stay in charge mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you do well the idea is family so mm -hmm. sure. big picture yeah it's just a great day <laughs> you okay yeah good yeah, great headspace right now. Um, Where's a bathtub or an ocean when you need it? Rob is taking the kids out of the city. That's dumb. What? I was about to say Roman's like, why? I'm sorry. You guys get mom's invitation for a Caribbean air clear? <laughs> oh, mom just suddenly wants to mom now? Yeah, I'm a hard no. Convenient. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. After last season's debacle? Should tell you because I'm telling mom today, probably. So. Oh, pregnant? I've wanted to say for a while, I'm actually, I'm pregnant. There you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> Is it mine? <clears throat> yeah, uh-huh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love Roman. Uh, immediate response. Wow. And, and, um. Yeah, it's Tom's. <sighs> Not. Good. Oh, my God. Sick. Uh, wow. Yeah. I, I love. I do feel for. Her. I love how every response she's gotten from people, the few that she's let in on her pregnancy has like none. None of it has just been a straightforward like, oh, okay, cool. It's all been like, uh, are you are you lying right now or whose is it? Like she's getting it from all sides, isn't she? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, you're having a wom's gland. I thought you just been eating your feelings. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Thanks. Good stuff. You know, I'm not gonna stop with the joke things. I'm also like, if I see you breastfeeding, I am gonna have to jerk off. Jesus f***ing Christ, I, I man. I mean that because it will be hot. Do you know how disgusting you are? Do you love it? <laughs> no. Should we bone again? No. Can, ah. Guys, can, can can we today, oh, I love it. shall we, for the funeral, just, yeah, yeah be, cool it. Be like family. a funeral truce. Yeah, like today is just about today. Sure, mm -hmm. okay. sure. We'll see how long it lasts. Siblings, it's for our father. They're saying that there's like a, a gathering or like a like a march or something that's gathering from the park and FDR's like totally gridlocked. So do you want me to just? I dropped a pin. I can guide you. Oh, oh, I had a feeling. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, beat. See, the re reality's gonna start setting in. You, you tear the rich out of their ivory tower. Like they are also gonna be in a very very vulnerable situation they have like security like some security and personal guard sure but like i don't know if these <laughs> sedans are bulletproof how, how well locked or heavily armored they are but if there's like a full-scale riot and they're just the roy family who is mostly responsible for the this situation is just there downtown i don't even think they've considered i don't think with their egos and everything else they have going on i mean i think shiv had an idea of the repercussions of what could happen but i don't think that ken ken's downplaying at all both in general but also even like to his ex-wife and and his kids and roman is just like nah, like not even considering it like this is we're, we're about to be in the danger zone this is going to be a whole thing we could have another connor's wedding though in this episode maybe the funeral doesn't even take place but we'll see Sheesh. But they have enough power and money where I guess they can get Hi, police morning. to cordon off. Like, Fine, great. Well, great day. Certain hey. sections of the glasses. That's smart. You cry in secret. Hide all your emotions. 
and thus emerge victorious as the winner of the funeral. Lord. Roman's playing Early it next up, week. I think he's going to shed some okay. tears. I want to speak with some family lawyers. Oh, he was serious. Custody. I, I want custody. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, What's this? Huh? What's this meet with you? Oh. Oh, uh. Oh, she quitting? So, so what is it? What uh, is oh. this? Yeah, shall we just do it when we do it? I just want to talk about my. Uh, We're getting promoted. Situation. What about your situation? Ken, this is a big day. I don't want to do this today. No, well, well, now I'm thinking like all kinds of things. I'm sure that you can understand that it might be a good time for me to move on to another position. Okay. Wow. Okay. Fine. Of course. Of course you can. Can yeah. I ask why? Um, oh, oh, he's going to take it personally. Yeah, it just... Oh, he's in a bad headspace. No, see, I, I think part of it is she wants to kind of like advance her career, but maybe working as Kendall Roy's personal assistant is not great. You know, probably lucrative, but I can imagine a wee bit stressful. Feels plus, like time. Plus, like, no? you know, from a moral standpoint. Is this about Mencken? I've been thinking about it for a while. I just have to say, like, like, it's, it's like oh, kind of, no. it's kind of ridiculous, Jess. Though, I mean, if you feel sorry about it, here we go. Maybe you should reconsider. Uh, I just think that it's. Time. I'm sorry, but I've I've given you extraordinary access. Where else are you going to get that? Nowhere. Oh, I'm telling you, you're going to get that nowhere. You have no idea how things will turn out, and it's very juvenile. Mm, very professional. God, Ken, I used to root for you, man. It's fucking dumb. You're being dumb. Everybody's being fucking dumb. No. Okay, sorry, I feel that way, Kendall. He's projecting. He's uh, ever ever since the his day of his dad's funeral. There's the Rava situation. There's everything's. It does not at all excuse his behavior. You have all these other grievances with the world and your day, and then if somebody else, yeah, I, he's just he's taking it out on her, and she definitely does not deserve any of that. I truly think it might be too late for him to turn. Nice things. timing, Jess. Lovely day to tell me. Really thoughtful. She was. She wasn't gonna tell you today, dude. Would you stop with this nonsense? Madsen has slipped down. They got deeply bullshit subscriber numbers all across South Asia. Okay, well, Madsen did follow Shiv's advice. He slipped out the the real numbers. To this point, I just I don't. He needed Kendall. The, 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 all, the, all the Roys just need to go do their own thing. You don't need to handle this empire. It's a bad place for you guys to be in physically, mentally. They all have the makings of greatness. They could all be good people in their own right. But Jesus, not not with Ray Star Roy. It's not for you to engage. It's just, just so you know. thought that we were going to... Roman was doing the eulogy con. But we said we could consider if we wanted to. Sure, but this is long and it's hard to follow. Oh right, well, God, it's of course, formally it's invented. Connors. That's one of the things that we like most about it. I think this eulogy is going to leave us open to legal action. All right, so who have you hit? Sounds about right. Is that why it's called church and state, by the way? Like separation of church and state? Like personal life, professional life, business and funeral and all that? I wonder who else is going to be here. And I see Sandy and Stewie? Yeah. Marsha's Ken's head cheap. is so many other places. Yeah. Marsha! I haven't seen you in yeah, forever. I was wondering. Lady. Oh my God, of course. <laughs> Everyone had a ride. Everyone had a ride, and Greg had to take his bike. Oh, Greg. Where will you end up after all this, huh? This eulogy is good, right? Ah, did good. there he is. Yeah, he's on top of the world. Of course Target-rich right. environment, glad handing the sad faces. I don't say that we've uh, had our battles and such, but this really puts it in perspective, don't it? Sure. Sure. Life is short. We should all love one another. <laughs> Go on. Nothing. Yeah, what's well, uh, going with your pitch, your sales pitch? Just an observation. Uh -huh. Megan is going to block the deal. And if Ken has lost his stomach for the fight, which I really hope he hasn't, there's going to be one cherry on the cake. He's trying to sell himself. Frank does not like Roman, but Frank and Ken, you know, tumultuous though it may be, have had a relationship for many a year. So there's no way Roman is recruiting Frank. I'll be, you know, rounding up a posse. Ooh. Mm, sure. Oh. Rootin' tootin'. Okay. Cowboy well, lovely chatting. <laughs> he just gets a grunt. Oh, well, he showed up. Look at that. The wannabe president elect. Hey, hey Rome. Gregory. Oh, my God. Hey, sad day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sad day. Thanks. So, uh, so, so Mank is right there. Yeah, yes. I know. I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you get me an intro? To make it. Yeah. 
Come on. I'm amongst the crowning Come on, committee. So Do him a solid. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe. Later. Um, you're on you and watch. Okay. If you wanted to speak, but um, you unfortunately there was no time. So if he starts like unfurling a banner or you know singing union songs or whatever, you oh, have Lord. license to. I didn't even think about that. Link up. Uh, sure. I'll. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Yes, look at that. See, Greg at least knows how to do a quid quo instead a quid. A, da, 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 da. Greg now knows how to do a quid pro quo. It's not just yes or no sir, three bags full. He's still a yes man, but he's like, yeah, but can you do this? Yeah, but I'll do it for this. Like that's look at that. I I admire that at least. He's like, yeah, I'll do that, but you know, you get me a link up. You do this for me. Now, granted, Roman coming through on a situation, he could easily just blow off. Nice trade. Ugh. Nice trade. He's really gone. <laughs> How much of you is glad? Well, I mean, you know, we had our fight. Like okay, at least eighty percent. I miss him. Stockholm syndrome. Well, well nice. here she comes. <laughs> Thought I could hear the sound of Dalmatians howling. Are we freezing her out or what's? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, one it down, is mom. Maybe be nice in case she drops dead of. Broken heart. I was curious who all would be here, and what a smart way to, in the penultimate episode for this, for the entire series, to bring back all these characters that we've seen pop up in and out of the entire series, bring them all for a funeral. It makes sense. I, I like the way they did that. Other shows might have saved, you know, the death of Logan Roy for one big grandiose, you know, oh, my, my sons, my daughters, and just like on the deathbed croaking or whatever. But no, it's early on, boom, just happens, and you hear about it over the phone. And the, and the lead up and the part of the conclusion of this story and these character stories is at the funeral where everybody is, where a breeding ground for what could ultimately be, but you know, sadness, the emotions, the drama, everything. It's your big day. I like that. Yeah, hi, hi, trader. Hi, hi, darling. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm pregnant, bye. Oh. Oh, she figured it out. Are you, um, okay? Yup. Yes. Hi, me. Mmm, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, I never. Huh. Well, then you. Well, I will. Well, well. Thank you. Exactly. We can go into this later, but... Sure. Can't wait. Didn't think to let me know. Uh, I have to be careful of the information that I give you because you might use it against me. Exactly, yes. No? Yeah. No, no, boom, 100%. Like, I, after the stunt she pulled with old Papa Dragon last season, like, whatever trust was there built up during that wet, like, during the, the, no. But then again, also, exactly. Shiv as a mother, it could go one of two ways. I'm excited. I think it's an autograph book. Oh. Oh. So sad. Yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Sure. Hey, Thank buddy. You. Daddy's here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's sickening. Sickening. Love the actor. Oh, Daddy's here. Like he spoke of you often. Yeah. One of his favorites. Going to. Got I'm him. just going to, darling. Um, would you excuse me just one second? Hmm? I'm gonna go network. I mean, mingle. I mean, uh, green. to roll around like a Labrador in a lovely pile of senators. Mm, mm -hmm. how respectful. Huh. So, the numbers pieces are starting to come out. No significant blowback, right? No. So far, it's uh, pretty good, right? Good. Well, it took Shiv's yeah. advice. So, Look uh, at that. Gold, gold star for the Red Devil. And what are you thinking about uh, the handsome Nazi over there? Is he, uh -huh. he going to win? If he does, like, ironically, would that be bad for a tall, blonde, white guy? <laughs> the whole thing is unimaginable. Uh, what about you offer him a U.S. CEO? Yeah, just for the U.S. properties. Who? Like, who would you have in mind? Oh, Me? I mean, I don't know. Anyone. Yeah, anyone. 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 Any. Anyone. Any. 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 Anyone. Right here. <laughs> Literally, mood. Shiv's mood. Shivroy. Shivroy. Yeah. Okay. Very inexperienced, though, huh? Whoa. Political acumen, knows ATN, can control the narrative. Damn. They say she's Lucas Madsen's total puppet. You know what I've heard? That she's, uh... Yeah, well, you know. The rumor. She's one of those hard bitches, right? Who's gonna do, what, 36 hours of maternity leave, oh, emailing boy. through her vanity cesarean? The rumor or come kid out. will never see her. Hard ass. Okay, I get it. Would you buy it? Because you two are very hatey, hatey with each other, I hear. Yeah, yeah. Think you can get him to like you? Mm. Yes. 
I think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's worked with worse. Can you intro? I can do f***ing anything. My dad just died. Damn. Okay, he's, uh, he's here. Prop is for her to try and to find her angle then. She has, she has a trajectory. She has a course of action. I am so curious how this will pan out. I'm not rooting for anybody right now, by the way. I'm sympathetic to an extent for some of our current characters' plights and the situation we find ourselves in, but at this point, it's the best of sandwich, you know? Like, how are we going to eat it? Who's going to eat how much? I am insanely curious just to see how things will shake out, really. Another guest? Kerry? It is Kerry, isn't it? Oh, she is? Yeah, not Kerry. How? Um, they let Kerry in? I'm, I mean, cool, I'm sure. Like... Why not? But I, I never would have thought that it, Carrie would be able to give after being kicked out by Mar Marcia. Like I, I didn't think that she'd be able to. Okay. Why don't you come and sit with us? You're sure that's okay? Absolutely. Okay. Who, who is this? Oh, um, this is my brother and uh, uh, my friend. Uh, sorry, just going to steal her away. <laughs> She'll be safe with me. Uh, my, my friend, um, who's a, a, who's a lawyer. So I thought that there might be an issue in terms of entry or something. That's what I was thinking. Dude, she she brought a lawyer to make sure, just in case she could get into the funeral. That's what I was just wondering. I'm like, I'm surprised she got in. I'm, I'm not upset about it. I still never got a, quite a proper read, and I can't, I'm not sure if I can, I mean, it's, it's easy to call her a gold digger, right? It's easy to say those were crocodile tears back in the New York penthouse. I mean, ultimately, I'm, I'm okay with her being here. Are you all right? Yeah. Come on. I'm sure, you know. Sally, yeah. I feel like she was Hello. at least somewhat emotionally invested. Oh. Hello. Another ex. This is Carrie. Question. Hi, Anne. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Come and meet Marsha. Yes. Marsha. Oh, wait. This is Sally Ann. Is she really rounding up the gaggle of, like, ex-wives? <laughs> Just the old, the old spinsters? Hello? Sally Ann was my Carrie, so to speak. So it's all water under the bridge now. Oh, yeah. Last year's model. Yeah. Pile in. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen Marsha and Mommy Dearest oh, interact. Carrie doing in the front row. She's in the front. God, Logan would hate this. <laughs> At least he won't grind his teeth tonight. <laughs> hey, see, look at that. <laughs> he, I, hopefully they can at least share. Oh, is she about to cry? Oh, that is nice. You gotta have like this morbid sense of humor about it, where all the the all the past lovers, all of Logan's lovers, get together. They'll never be in the same room together after this, unless it's for litigation. I assume it's poetically just that they're all here together now, to, for this man's life at the end of at the end of it all. Hey, dude. I love that moment. I love that moment. Uh, I, that got me teared up a little bit, too. Damn. I love that moment. Like, because that's what you do in this moment, is that a, all of them, like, they did, I don't know why that, like, brought, like, such joy to my heart, right? Like, like a somber joy was just these women that have all, without having to talk about it, they all know. They all went through the same experience. They all, in some way or another, regardless of, you, you can debate the legitimacy or the degree of which there was love and connection and romance. But in one way or another, I think I can believe that all those women did love Logan in their own way. I mean, he end of the day, billionaire or not, he, he was a man. And he was a man that had a heart and, and feelings and, and a soul, if you, you know, subscribe to souls. Really nice that even in this moment, even after Marsha, like, basically kicked Carrie out of the penthouse downtown, now here we are, she's consoling her, and they get to share that moment and this moment together of, hey, we, we're, we, we've all lost something here. You know, in our own way, we've all lost the same thing. Might need a drink for this after all. We got the uh, we got the the the, the 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 dangerous stuff tonight, boys. To uh, to Mr. to Mr. Roy. Final call. Logan is boxed and ready to be delivered. Greg, there are fires <laughs> in Baltimore. Darwin might resign. Online is peaking. You know, I'll get there oh as fast God. as I can and tell them it was me. Can I inquire about? Front <laughs> and tell them it was me. Okay. I don't think Tom's gonna make it. Tom. Hey, hey, Lucas. Hey, sexy. Nice.
<laughs> but it's also very telling of like not only Tom's character, but where his head's at in the moment, which is that all things considered, he's like, yeah, 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 funeral later, I'll get there, maybe. But to tell him it was me, tell, tell them it was me, tell them again it was me. <laughs> nice to see you all too. It's very kind. Shiv, I just spoke to Tom and it looks like he's not gonna make it. What? Damn. Mm -hmm. Where's Where's your Tommy boy? He's at work. It's a lot of news today. Sadly, so. that means that there's a wheel free on the casket. You're down a wheel man. Mm-hmm. Peter okay. could take a wheel. So who's what? that going to wheel? Yes, certainly. Do you oh, need shit. A spare pair of hands? No, no, oh, I was saying Lord. that Tom Very just kind heavy. of offered it to me. No. Oh, I see. Tom. Oh, I'm you hope. Oh, Greg. Yes. No. Wow, wait, Greg's going to get to carry. You know what? Good for him. He gets to help carry the casket. Ewing is there. It makes sense. Ewing would help carry his brother, though. Yeah, death often is like the one thing that will always bring everybody together. I mean, sometimes it drives people apart, but in this case, like, oh, it's gonna hit Roman. It's gonna hit the kids. Yeah, it's all different when you're not rehearsing in front of the mirror. The Roy family. Look at that, see? You start getting in your head, don't you? I think Roman's gonna try to speak and he might crack a little bit. Please be seated for a word. From those Dude. who knew and love Logan's. Sandy's got a front row seat over there. Human's gonna speak. Hey, Greg, 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 Greg. You're making a scene. I'm not making a scene, Greg. You are. Hi, uh, I think maybe you're not uh, on for today. Thank you. I'm going to speak. Gramps? It is his, it's his brother. What do you want me to do? And restrain the old man? I'm take his legs out. <laughs> <laughs> what is he gonna do? It's only fair. Like, Ewing or not, I might be jumping the shark here, but I feel like, say what you want about Ewing, you know, the hypocrisy that's come through in some of his platforms in the past and the actions he sometimes takes and all that jazz. But there are moments though where like, it's it's just the, the humanity comes through and love for his brother is there. Usually you don't have that strong of emotional reaction to somebody or really cut at somebody the way that you do unless you really care for one reason or another it reminds me i forget what episode it was but they had a big tiff but no it was a dundee episode all those years blaming yourself for rose i'm not interested that really wasn't your fault this though this is your fault this empire of shit. he really only held logan accountable for what logan did and what his actions led to i suppose i i, mm, I don't want to get too much into that but i feel like this is going to be very respectful funny enough it's going to be like my, my brother was a complicated man but he was also my brother and i love him and i'll miss him maybe or maybe he'll just him up here but i feel like it'll be respectful good morning i, I like that roman got upstaged immediately just... what sort of people would stop a brother speaking for the sake of a share price damn Got him. Attack them, not the... <laughs> it is not for me to judge my brother. History will tell that story. I can just give you a couple of instances about him. Oh boy. You probably all know we came across the first time during the war, but the engines of our ship let go and the rest of the convoy sailed on without us, leaving us adrift. They told us children that if we spoke or coughed or moved an inch, that the U-boats would catch the vibrations through the hull and we would die in the drink right there in the hold. Three nights and two days, we stayed quiet. A four-year-old and a five-and-a-half-year-old speaking with our eyes. There's a little sob story. <laughs> Holy shit. And uh, once we were over, our uncle, who was, so to speak, a character, he, um, well, they, they had a little money and they sent Logan away to a better school and he hated it. <laughs> he just hated it. He wasn't well, he was sick. And he mewed and he cried. And in the end, he got out and came home under his own steam. But when he got back, our little sister, she was a baby, but she was there by then. She, uh, he always believed that he brought home the polio with him, which took her. I don't 
even know if that's true. But our aunt and uncle certainly did nothing to disabuse him of that notion. They let it lie with him. I loved him, I suppose. And I suppose some of you did too, in whatever way he would let us and we could manage. But I can't help but say, he has wrought the most terrible things. <laughs> he was a man who he has, here and there, drawn in the edges of the world, now and then darkened the skies a little, closed men's hearts, fed that dark flame in men, the hard, mean, hard-relenting flame that keeps their hearths warm while another grows cold, their grain stashed while another goes hungry. It's true. And even has the temerity to tell that hard, <laughs> funny, yes, funny, but hard joke about the man in the cold. You can get a little high, a little mighty when you're warm. He, he gave away a few million of his billions, but he was not a generous man. True. He was mean, and he made but a mean estimation of the world. And he fed a certain kind of meagerness in Respect, major, major respect, by the way, right now. This is <laughs> men. Perhaps he had to, because he had a meagerness about him. And maybe I do about me too. I don't know. I try. I don't know when, but sometime he decided not to try anymore. And it was a terrible shame. Godspeed, my brother, and God bless. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. That's that's a that's a a perfect way to kind of expound on the character and like the man who is Logan Roy is to say, look, he he was a human like me. We're brothers. We had some very emotional and personal moments together. I I love him. I love my brother. I know I'm sure to some extent he loves me. I'm sure to some extent people in this room love him too. But make no mistake, Logan Roy was one mighty, mighty bastard. So I, I respect him for, you know, open his heart up a little bit there, connected there empathically. This is my brother. I love him. But didn't go up there speaking these bold platitudes and lies, which now makes me wonder because I see this look in Roman's eye because Roman... His whole thing was to go like, oh, this could be a therapy session because his whole thing was going to be going up there and being like, my father was a great man and I'm a great man and applause now. Like he had this whole plan and that's all been upended by an actual emotional intelligent speech, not just these empty platitudes that he was going to go up there and tout for this whole church to see. So maybe Roman might actually use this as a moment to go up there and maybe truly off note speak from the heart and be like look i yeah my dad wasn't great i miss him and i love him but man i didn't like uh, he was not great if he's still gonna speak at all you're gonna you're gonna save the other side that's not it that's not everything right uh, yeah i'm good hit on marshall on the way up you gonna want to see it's getting to him you. you know roman's gonna flip the you script okay, son? uh yeah i pre-grieved not your son pre-grieved no oh i i this if this is what i think it is this might bring me to tears honestly that shook him because that that's the other thing too is that clearly they weren't that as they weren't as close to ewing as they were to logan that's just how things panned out and grew up but right there him sharing that at the beginning whether it was about his sister which that adds a lot of context and then adds the context of Logan's upbringing and all that. These are stories that they could have heard as kids that could have helped to humanize Logan or that things that could have been shared but never were. As imagine you you find out these things about your father and your uncle like the day after one of them died. Like this is all about mourning the loss of what could have been. But this is about to... I told you it's about to take. hit Roman. Okay. I think he might start on script, but I don't think he's gonna he's gonna stay on script. Hi. Uh, oh yeah. One second. 
Und um, my no, yeah. <clears throat> my Crumbling. father, Logan, Roy, uh, uh, he was a, a great man in the um, very quiet in the true sense sense of the world word. Say the other side. It's not. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, oh, just, stupid. Sorry. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, damn. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I got you. You did. You good. I got okay. you. Oh, damn. What's unfortunate is that's going to be used against him. Oh. Ah. Damn. You know what? You know, see, you know what that makes me think of is, uh, oh, Jesus. I I remember I had the, this exact reaction the first time that, uh, yeah, this is a deep cut. Remember, <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers this and is in the same boat, but do we remember the first time that uh, that Dean Winchester cried? You wanted to know how I was feeling. Oh, well, that's it. So tell me. What could you possibly say to make that all right? You know, it's it's that it's that trope, the character that's like stoic holds it together, blows it off with some laughs, and is always the wall that holds it together. And finally, after like episode upon episode of all this grief and trauma, he just breaks down. It, I told you, I told you, pre grieve. I told you, it hits you, it hits you like a truck, and there's no stopping it. Yeah, it was me. That was me. All, when you when the realization all comes to pass you know, it hits everybody different times and sometimes it does hit you right in the moment but the way that i grieve is like and i i get the news and i'm like that's okay and then just later just boom it'll it's it's uncontrollable reminds me of uh kim wexler uh better call saul and that oh, that god that bus scene <laughs> Oh my God! The all the years and years that she held that in, and just it, you just literally un uncontrollable. Just the raw. Talk about a performance, by the way. Just the raw emotion. Maybe think of Dean Winchester. Maybe think of Kim Wexler. And now I got Roman Roy in the in the compendium. I swear to God, though, if if Matson or if Mankin like use that, like try to even use that against him, or if they, that's the bad thing is that he needs to let this. The, you you got to let shit out, and it's this is completely okay and healthy. What just happened there is perfectly fine, and. I did no, nah, people are gonna people are gonna say something. That's the um, that just, got me. Bear with me a second, please. Um, I'm gonna try to just oh. stand in for my brother. It's, it's, it's hitting them all. That's how it works. It's gonna, oh, I'm gonna keep crying. It's gonna hit them all. Yeah, I, I don't know how much I know, but I knew my father. It is true. What I said, what my uncle said, my father was uh, a brute. He was, he was tough. But also, he built and he 
acted. There are many people out there who will always tell you no. And there are a thousand reasons there. I mean, there always are a thousand reasons not to, to not act. But he was never one of those. Well, he had a vitality, a force that could hurt. But my God, the sheer, the, the, I mean, look at it, the lives and the livings and the things that he made. And the money. <laughs> yeah, the money. The lifeblood, the oxygen of this, this, this wonderful civilization that we have built. Corpuscules of life gushing around this nation, this world, filling men and women all around with, with desire, quickening the ambition to own and make and trade and profit and build and improve. I mean, great geysers of life he willed. Amusements, newspapers, shows and films and life, bloody, complicated life. He made life happen. He made me and my three siblings. <laughs> and yes, he had a terrible force to him and the a caveats, fierce ambition the that could push you to the side. But it was only that, that human thing. The will to be and to be seen and to do. And now people might want to tend and prune the memory of him, to denigrate that force, that magnificent... The Logan apologists over here. ...awful force of him, but my God, I hope it's in me. Because if we can't match his vim, then God knows the future will be sluggish and gray. Now, there wasn't a room from the grandest stateroom where his advice was sought to the lowest house where his news played, where he couldn't walk and wasn't comfortable. He was comfortable with this world. And he knew it. And I say amen to that. All right, so be it. We're all working through our trauma up there, huh? It is a very interesting space. To, what, what, an, what a magnificent challenge for an actor to be put into space. And also, again, I love the, this like finality to this, 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 uh, accumulation. This is like the Avengers and maybe I'm, I'm overly romanticizing it. Right. But it's like Avengers end game right here in this room where now we, we, you're put on the world stage. We've had four seasons worth of drama, worth of back and forths. They have theoretically had a lifetime with this, with this man and these feelings. And now they are thrust upon this podium to then try to summarize, to consolidate, to reckon the good with the bad and speak to their father in one way or another. And I think it was perfect. It was perfect that Ewing uh, upstaged them at the beginning by giving the ultimate kind of eulogy of here's the good, here's the truth, the, the good, the bad, and the ugly, as it were. It set the stage, which I think kind of opened up the floor for the kids to be able to, instead of these grandiose speeches they had planned with maybe a, a tear or two shed, to actually show legitimate emotion and to speak candidly and truthfully to an extent, right? To an extent. And to be able to, to, to put yourself in that headspace, and like as an actor too. We used to play outside this. his office. And I, I think because we wanted him to hear, and uh, he would come out, and he was so terrifying. <laughs> he'd come out, and he'd, he'd yell at us to be quiet. <laughs> what he was doing in there was so important. We couldn't conceive of, of, of what look, it was. The, look, know, and I love that. And this moment with the kids, it's going to bring me to tears again. Like, this is them remembering. This is them. It, it, they're not only speaking to everybody in the room, but they're speaking to each other about this. And it's these you know remember from whence you came and like our childhoods and just these all this again it's like marcia extending the hand to carrie and it's these moments where it's the the siblings where it's like do you remember do you do you remember what it was like when we were just kids man he kept us outside but he kept everyone outside when he let you in oh here we go when the sun shone it was warm it was really it was warm in the light but it was hard to be his daughter. Oh, he was hard on women. 
you know, he couldn't, he couldn't fit a whole woman in his head, but he did okay. You did okay, Dad. Uh, we're all here, and we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Doing okay. So, goodbye, my dear, dear world of a father. Let Connor say something. Come on. Can I, please let Connor say something. It's just such a complicated... Oh, my God. It's such a complicated thing. I don't want to speak too out of term or anything like that. The The relationship that I've, I, I've had with my father hasn't always been... It's not, I, I didn't grow up with a nuclear family, right? I had primarily my mother and my grandmother raised me. You know, grandmother moved away, went with uh, old uncle to get taken care of and then go die in a trailer park. That was awesome. Was my, me and my mom for the most part. And I, I would still see my dad. And we never really, it's not, <laughs> my dad is no Logan Roy. And thank God he wasn't. I just never got that connection and now here we are he's not dead <laughs> and by the way i still see him i saw him this year but what's crazy is now that i'm older and in his i don't want to say waning years because he has that sort of like vitality to him that logan has where i he's in his 70s but i could easily see him trucking on for at least another couple decades or so just the way that he's so straightforward about it but it isn't until these like later years that we're finally having these conversations and we're finally connecting a little bit in the same way that you that they're kind of mourning their father and this relationship they all wish they could have had but when you were let in i it's like i i, I can understand that because then for me my question is like why did it take so long like like wh where was all this you know we had decent conversations before but like where where was that huh like this this would sure would have been nice this is this is bringing up all sorts of emotions jesus what brilliant they all get their own chance to kind of reconcile with how they viewed their father and the relationship they had with them what a complicated man logan roy was <laughs> for all the things that he did for all the the hurt the pain that he may have caused for all the things he may have said all of the spurred lovers, neglected kids, all of this, there's still that like love there. There's still the fondness and there's still, they all loved and wanted his love and respect. Yeah, speaking on people that you care about and love, they'll bring that out of you. Still does for me. Connor doesn't get to speak. That, that's pretty dumb. No. That's what happens when you keep it all pent up, man. One last piss jug throw hurled across the <laughs> sidewalk. Oh my god. That was perfect. Thank you. Talk later? Yes. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll fill you in later, but very interesting conversation. Epa. Shift floating a US CEO to play Kate Mackin. Props to Hugo doing his job, man. Hugo may be slimy, but he's good at what he does. Oh, we're gonna see him to the cemetery? Is he getting buried with family? Again, and I know I keep stopping to speak on this, but this speaks to the the magnitude and the effect that this the show, its writing and its characters ha have is that like I never loved Logan. He's just such a character. He's such a well done, well portrayed, well written character that you, regardless if you loved him or hated him, you can't, you still can't help, at least in my case, but feel the impact that he had. I feel the impact of his loss. There's now a, <laughs> there's a hole, a, di a Papa Dragon sized hole in this show with him gone. We're also tempted to call him a villain. He's definitely an antagonistic force, but that's why I always love villain or villainous characters in shows that are, especially if they're well-written, like a compel, like I'll take a compelling villain over a hero almost any day of the week. And the, the villains are always what get me. <sighs> Maybe this day changed. I don't know about changing everyone, but I definitely think Roman Look might be thing. a little bit changed. Jesus. He never sent you pictures? Yeah. He never saw this? <laughs> did he? No, I, I, I never saw this. No? Did you guys? No. Well, Connor did, yeah. I bet. He got it on a deal. Oh, man. <laughs> he was really pleased. Of course he did. It was a dot-com pet supply guy who built it, I believe. <laughs> What? But that guy decided against. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? 
Was he in a bidding war with Stalin and Liberace? Right. <laughs> Pop sort of, I think he didn't want to go in the ground. Huh. And I think he didn't want to think about it too much. So I think he just went in for it at auction and boom. Cat food, Ozymandias. I think it was five mil all in, but that's forever. Good deal. Yeah. <laughs> you hear what you know about mausoleums now? Well, I'll show you around. Good deal. It's also a tax write off because it's technically a residence. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, it's, that's fitting mm. right there. Damn. One final shrine. You interested? <laughs> oh. Spots uh, to be buried next door? Yeah, a chance to get to know him. <laughs> I was crazy for cryogenics, but yeah. Oh my God. I wouldn't say no to a top buck. <laughs> you? I love gallows yeah, humor. That's how I cope. I had trouble finishing a scotch with him. Mm. It made me breathe funny. He couldn't, Roman couldn't even step in. Father. Intrigued to see how he gets out of this one. <laughs> uh, Houdini in here. Man, oh, that's too much. That's too much. Too much. Uh... Hey, Dad wasn't really. How bad was Dad? He was a salty dog. He was. But he was a good egg. What you saw was what you got. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right? <laughs> right. Right. Sure. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I loved him very much. I miss him very much. He broke my heart. And he broke your hearts too. Oh God. Man, I don't remember who, I'll find the comment maybe. And they were also like referencing what somebody else said, but man, it's crazy. This show literally is a show about, what is it? How does it go? This is a show with characters people people in it that don't deserve our empathy and yet they have it regardless but also i mean loss is very relatable big for h humans how you general. doing i want you to brief media on background then i am the droid you are looking for okay that madsen's acquisition doesn't have the support of key members of the family but you don't say who madsen's trying to steal the company for a song board is souring on the deal price soaring post-election atn pumped uh, undervalues Waystar, right premiums to too business, low. Huh? This is an explicit plan to f*** the deal, me rule the world. And you can come, but it won't be a collaboration, okay? You'll be my dog. But the scraps from the table will be millions. Happy? That's candid. Woof, woof. <laughs> damn, damn. I, I don't fault Hugo, honestly. Dude, that's that's the word. That's <laughs> that's cool, but it's just like, look, man, you're not gonna be in a position of power, but you will. You'll get yours. You'll get yours. With the sinister music. Oh God, Kendall, what path are we going down? We haven't heard that music scene since episode two, when Logan was in the newsroom and given his grand old, "It's gonna be bigger and better." Oh, his, his old speech there. That's how Kendall copes, though, right? His own version of I keep using the term "nose to the grindstone" a lot, but it's his own version of that, which is just, you know, trauma and work harder, bigger moves, crazy plays, a, a sizable sidebar. But I love again. This is why I love everybody that's kind of come along for this journey and those that choose to comment and go into this. But I love the breakdown about how. There's a strong belief that Ken might actually have bipolar 2 disorder. I'm not going to go into everything right now. I'll save this for the recap at the very end. But if you want to go back to my episode 6, uh, Living Plus Reaction, there's a breakdown not only for uh, the possible diagnosis of bipolar 2, but also kind of tracking his uh, his uh, drug use and sobriety over the course of the seasons. I, I, love, I love the attention to detail here and the breakdown of it, and it all makes sense in retrospect. I just wanted to sidebar with that real quick. I know you guys said these were good episodes, but uh, I did not realize it was going to be that emotional. Roman got me. Roman got me. Post dinner reflection. There he is. Wanna How you doing, big man? You want to come? Is he going to pitch him like you come work for me? Which I don't think Colin would. Colin does not have the same respect for Kendall that he did for Logan. 
Yeah. How you doing yourself? You okay these days? Here comes the pitch, though. Because I hear you were talking to a head shrinker. Yo, hey, let's... It's supposed to be confidential. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, but uh, I'm afraid it's not. Huh. Damn. Yeah, I, t I tell you what I think. I think you come work for me. Mm, I knew it was coming. Huh? Like, big strong guy like you? What are you fucking... Big strong guy like you? What are you about, you? huh? I don't love it. No, I no, bet. I, no, no, I know. I know. Me neither. <laughs> me neither. Come work for me. Talk to me. Okay. Talk to me. Huh. Yeah. Good. Is he, is he agreeing? Good man. Interesting. Okay. That wasn't really a look of like derision or disrespect. I mean, again, purpose, right? Like that's his purpose was at the, at the right hand of, of the, the leader of this co of this corporation and you know perhaps he could build up another relationship there with ken maybe he sees that as a way to like do right by logan because i he clearly had a respect adoration of sorts i don't hate it i don't hate the idea colin is good at what he did he's the most consistent he's one of the most consistent people in the show you want to watch miss goober and his bullshit Hey, hey, hey. But Ooh. here comes the... I guess, uh, what? Here sort comes of the like, schmoozing. Congratulations, pending a grueling jurisdictional knife fight. Yeah? Yeah, no, no, confident. Given what we have, you know, on our side, you know, how we've been pleased to cooperate mm -hmm. in terms of shared vision, I guess I wanted Just to... Just get touch down base. to it, man. Oh. Wanted to talk, chat, get my thoughts to you. Oh, I thought you were the sound system. Now you want to choose the track. <laughs> I don't know when might you be dropping something publicly about your regulatory concerns vis-a-vis -vis big bad foreign tech and great American corporations. All right. Well, I've said I'll I'll try to help. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. Greg Hirsch. Hi. Greg. ATN with Tom. Greg. <laughs> this guy knows me well. Congratulations. Thank you. Good on um, Greg. Tom and I were uh, proud. Bro, look at that. Look at that. Greg swooped on in. Look, you know, a pro move. I'm sure Mankin wasn't loving that conversation anyway. He wasn't given the, the in, so he made the in himself. As much as I have against Greg, look at that. That's how you do it. I to be pulling for you last night. Hey, 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 stupid, it, stupid, stupid. And I really love the okay? call. So Let's take the a hike. weeper, tiny tears. Oh, getting. boy. You good? Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe easy today. Yeah, no, it's fine. Hey, J-Man. Hey, up? how are you doing? Oh, hey, yo, 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 easy, hey, easy. Thanks. Hey, now, one's a conversation, two is company. We're getting like four or five people, and everybody's trying to swarm Mankin right Wanna now. Want to grab five just to uh, uh, just to talk macro Slovenia, micro travel budget. Come, you know? come. I'm trying to talk with my colleague to bat some ideas. Excuse me. Dude, Mr. everybody. Should, everybody. Should. If you care to follow me, I'm your extraction team. Excuse me. No, we're, we're, no. we're, we're just having a... <laughs> Get him out of there. Uh, perhaps you'd like to, maybe it's time to open up. It's a big tent this Some motherfuckers, I don't want another tent. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, I know that. I... This dirty well, sweets. here we go. Welcome in. Okay, perhaps oh, we. Here we go. I need you to find Let's out. see how it goes. Look at us. My dirty eye on the inside. And a redhead walk into the bar. Liberal, conservative, and whatever, what, what, what was your philosophy exactly? Uh, privacy, privacy, pasta. Anarcho-capitalist. Nice. Parmigiana. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this brief because uh, we're, we're both quite busy. I want waste our, I want a piece of the news, so on sports, uh, archive, library, IP talent, all that good stuff. What would make you, assuming you make it, what would reassure you about his ownership? Okay, I, I just want to be frank about um, how important it is for me that you feel comfortable. I guess it. no. I mm, see now we're tackling it with two different. That's uh, we're he's getting double teamed right now. This is kind of. Whatever our frictions, there was an ideological sympathy with your dad. My dad had deep ocean currents swirling in his gut, but I think on specifics, he was about money, winning, and gossip. Well, in, in, in terms of um, like across Gojo and Gojo Socials and all the kind of communication environment, whatever, we are making the thing that everyone has, but nobody knows how it works. Very small number of people that are thought leaders in that space. And so I just think that maybe you might want to hear our take, you know? It's interesting. I've never heard, like, this is the most serious that I've probably, I'm not saying something, the most serious I've seen Matson. I, I, we've never seen him give a solid, 
relatively straightforward like sales pitch or take a a, a professional business stance he's always uh chuckles mcfuckles if you know what i mean but a couple of tiny men in your pocket or a gateway to broad and growing cultural influence well you know it's really all about regulatory framework CFIUS considerations so yeah it will be out of my hands uh national interest and domestic of course can, can i can i just say that with the stuff that i'm interested in there's no need for me to be in, deep inside it on a day-to-day -day basis. Spitballing here, maybe an American CEO? Will that help make f things feel a bit more culturally aligned? Here's the pitch. Oh, what? Kinder Kuka Kerche over here? <laughs> I thought you hated me. Oh. My dad was flexible, I'm flexible. I know how things go. My feelings are irrelevant. Our audience loves Jared, and so I respect our audience. We, ha we have the pitch. I'm very curious who Mencken's going to side with. If he's a man of his like politics and ideology, then I feel like, at least in his eyes, this is great, by the way, at least in his eyes, Roman kind of sits more in that camp and kind of that's the that's the bed that he's already that's already been made and he'd be comfortable in. So I'd be curious if this pitch appeals to him at all. And I love your audience. Oh, good talk. Have fun with Ohio. Yeah. Nothing solid. No, no, but the pitches have both been made. Oh, riots in the streets, and Megan has a choice to make. Oh, there's Wom's Gans. It's getting a bit Tiananmen out there. Oh, ballsy. Oh, no, Tom. You would never have dared not to come to his funeral when he was alive. Damn. Yeah, well, the thing about your dad is that um, he's lost quite a lot of influence over the past few days. <laughs> Some champagne. You know what? Cheers to that. Drinking while pregnant, ship. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I know, it's fine. We're gonna have a talk about it. Are you going to explain ever to me I what happened? Why you didn't tell me oh. how? And how? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. How long yeah, did you know? I, I mean, I wasn't sure. A few that days, I right? Wanted to keep it. A week or so? Then I wasn't sure that it was okay. But it turns out that by all accounts it is. So when did you tell so, me? So, because it seems so sad. Tom, we're in a honeymoon phase and yeah yeah taking potential dad for a test drive oh f you lol thank you Lovely. so much yeah well done you well if it wasn't such a total fucking disaster it would be a dream come true oh, i'm sure it'd be wonderful it's hard oh, oh no i'm not gonna see it i'm just gonna do the family way oh, uh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no that'll work fine if you don't see it that's fine yeah got him they don't grow up emotionally stunted do they I shouldn't think so. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, right. Lovely. Oh, sorry. <laughs> say sorry um, for not being here. I'm so, so tired. And I haven't I've been awake for so, so long. And, and I just felt I couldn't leave. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Fine. And you know, I was, I was the first one in there. What if they reconcile and become like the ultimate power couple at the end of this that could be a thing maybe right like perfect for each other in a weird way now that tom's kind of come into his own with him after he died i was so i did say i did say goodbye yeah um, i did okay good wrong well, you're exhausted Hey, why don't, why don't you, uh, why don't why you go back to the apartment? Why don't we go back to the apartment? Hours, just, you know, sleep. Sure. I don't care. The people at the hotel know me and I, I hate it. I don't like it. Just hide out for a while. Why don't you, why don't we both go back to the apartment? I do like how this show does highlight this, though, is that you put on as strong of a face or facade as you want. And again, these people aren't inherently great people either but at the end of the day all these people they we're just humans man we're just we're human we're just normal men what do you mean normal men we're just innocent men <laughs> we only do and take so much jesus it all catches up eventually maybe she has a better understanding of where he's been at what his headspace is got to schedule a seven o'clock uh, seven o'clock cry session it's a yes. Yes? Yes. Uh, from oh. 
Yeah. The Mangan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mangan agreed? Great. Move. Smart. Yeah. I think they're interested. And, uh, I think I can make a USCO work. Great. Okay. Let's, uh... Wait. It's a yes from Mangan or a yes from, from Gojo? Like, on a corporate level. Can a meatball burger? Yeah. I mean, good news. Look at that. Oopsie doopsie poopsie there, Ken. Bittersweet day, huh? Hey, bud. Hey, yeah. Uh, you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's dandy. Look at her. <laughs> Lucas and Chip. It's possible there might be an accommodation. No, we yeah. had an agreement. And, yeah, you know, so he's gonna well, block we, we don't deal. have a lot of leverage at this point, so... We might need to to make some moves. And like, I help. such yeah, as I don't, uh, I don't really feel so great. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Sorry. Take it easy. Come on. That's because you f***ed him. Jesus, man. Yeah, it's okay, what man. The f no, my God, Ken. Oh my God, Walter White over here. I go from loving you to hating you. <laughs> what? Big brother of the year over here. Okay. It's okay. Look, it happens. Um, shut it happens. up, dude. Shut up. Tell you were dad. Tried to dad it. Holy oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, yeah. man. Yeah, dick. Like, take it easy. Fuck. Yeah. I didn't fuck it. No, I didn't. Because, you know, if he tries to, you know, welch on a deal or whatever to block, then, you know, we got him. We can fucking... Got him it. how? We have, we have ATN. He's okay. got our dick in his hand. Well, we should have his dick in our hand. I, I don't... Yeah. Okay. I should have stopped it, so I blame myself, but it's on us, dude. Okay? We don't want to say bye-bye to Waystar. We have to get f***ing real and fight Shiv at the board. Jeez. The Royal Boys versus Shiv the Shiv. Um, dude, It's okay. I mean, when, I've got it. When does the fighting end? I have end? a plan, but I'm going to need when? you to just... Yeah, help me here. We can do this. Okay, dude? Like in the okay? war... It, but it's all right. Bro, great, great. I, that that makes me so upset after the day that he's had for like your sibling, your brother. Like, wow. All right. Cool. Great. Come on, have your coming to Jesus right now, whatever you want to call it. Who recorded? I think I think it was Ray. Listen to this. He he sounds like a sow that's about to get the stun gun and Are knows you it. Wrong? Don't You're listen. Kidding me. No, this circulating. Don't play that. Come on. Oh, God. a show is trick. It's circulating. Oh, that's not right. That's not right, dude. Oh my God. Even even Jerry is like, dude, that's not chill. They're all laughing at him behind his back. What else are you gonna do, man? That's that's how it works. Great. What a great day. I'm walking. Thank you. Walking. Dude's gonna get assaulted. Maybe he knows it. Dude, he's about to go down. I wouldn't go that way. It's a bull run over on fifth. Okay, we'll keep up the good work, okay? Bro, what are you doing? We're not gonna kill we're not gonna kill Roman here in the second to last episode. He's gonna get hurt though, probably, right? Oh wait. Is he gonna instigate? Is he about to pull a berry right now? Thank you. Go. He's he's looking he's looking for punishment see psychologically that's what i what i jumped to is that like when you feel like you deserve it then you seek out the punishment somehow stop that settle down it's gonna be okay don't hurt yourself man please i'm a cop killer if i saw you walking down the street I'd f***ing kill you, I'd kill your f***ing kids, I'd kill your f***ing wife, and I'd kill your f***ing mom. Uh, I, he's about to... Go home, go home, f*** oh, oh, you. Oh, f***ing me? No idea, moron! What are you gonna do, you again? Bro, what are you, oh, he's... He's, he's looking for a fight. You're stupid f***ing idiot, you have no Dude. idea. Dude, no! Nuts, idiot. Oh, shit.
episode nine, you start the episode with Kendall here and Roman here, and then by the end of the episode, there's a seesaw completely. I thought that structure was so intriguing and so emotionally fraught. With those hyper-emotional scenes, there's just a trust that's evolved. The challenge was getting the right combination in the church of the epic and the intimate and a very real logistical challenge of just getting it all shot. We had a huge page count in the church and a very, very limited availability, but it meant that we had to shoot even by our standards, and we can shoot quite fast sometimes. But with our normal two camera way of shooting, there was just no way we could get through this fast page count with so many incredibly important beats, unless we did something extreme. The solution was for me to return to my early directing days. I would do multi-camera, you know, sketch shows and even a big live variety show. And it was eight cameras with lots of outside broadcast feeds. And the training for that for me was being able to shoot with a lot of cameras to cover a lot of ground very quickly. So we devised a four film camera system so that the cameras wouldn't be shooting into each other so that one camera could be on whoever was eulogizing, one camera could be on the siblings, one camera could be picking up reactions. And again, we did that rolling reload system that I spoke about earlier in episode three so that I could effectively run Continuous. as we did with the team of Logan's death. And the, the siblings finding out, we ran a continuous take multiple times Hold and from keep the moment the, the casket is brought into the church, right through its procession, through all the eulogies. We ran that all as one big chunk. That was an attempt to give the cast as much emotional flow as possible, which they, in my opinion, they always benefit from. I always knew that story of what had happened with her. People have occasionally mentioned it. Uh, in the show, and I, I, I've heard people uh, people have asked me, like, what was that thing? And it just felt like a natural place that a story like that would come out. It's not the key to him, but it's it's one of those things. I think it, it, it's not untypical of a funeral, right, where you see a person in a new light, suddenly someone who you've not met from their past comes up, and you, you discover something new. Not necessarily exactly. something that completely alters your sense of them, but just another another angle. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. My father. Th there's a, what, that very famous saying, uh, the grave will out the truth. Roman says that he's pre-grieved right after the death of his father. Some people do feel that way, right? They feel numb and they don't feel the wave of grief that they're expecting. And that can be a sort of guilty relief. Oftentimes it does come at an unexpected time and it's not funny at all, but it has the structure of a joke really, of like, I'm not feeling anything, and then a huge wave of feeling. With the cast, we rarely talk about a very emotional moment beforehand. It doesn't benefit them. They have their process where it's built up and prepped in their heads, and I don't want to interfere with that. Once a take starts, it becomes its own animal and you're responding to what you're seeing. I'm completely led by the performance. It's raw and that's our whole modus operandi is to harness that roar as much as we can. Beautiful. What a what a beautiful fucking way to do it by the way. What a that that that's that's the point of it. You don't you you're not constraining the actors like oh stick to the script, do what I say, follow these movements. The fact that we have the outline for it, we have the dialogue for the most part. Now you get out there, you do what you're best at and we're going to follow your flow of this you know you know the beats you know the story you know what's going to happen more or less but we're taking your lead on this now you as these characters that we know we've come to know and and for the most part understand now you lead lead us on this journey and we'll capture that that's the that's the essence of, of for performance in this case roman he has a sort of ecstasy of nihilism at the end which is scary and masochistic and felt like what he might do oh boy boy oh boy god all the emotions <laughs> oh we only have one more to go church and state that was that we have our heading how are things going to shake out not a fan of kendall right now definitely not a fan of kendall roman might be my favorite character i think but man he oh he got he got to me everybody had their moment granted connor didn't really get his moment but great guy great solid solid episode oh my god and now it sounds like Mankin might renege on the Roman deal and the Gojo acquisition might go through. Maybe it's for the best, honestly. I don't know. We, be, we have one left. We have a movie. That's it. We have one movie that wraps up the story of Succession. What else is there to say? <laughs> what else is there to say? Finale is going to be a, a heckin' doozy of a, doozy of a day for us. I'm going to have some special little guest stars on here. 
I'm going to announce what the the most popular voted show is that we're going to be focusing on next. As I said, there will be other shows too. Don't 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 you worry, your pretty little heads. But so good, so good. I'm so glad that I finally watched this show, man. Oh my god. As always, please let's discuss below. Share your stories if you want. I will see you in the series finale of of Succession. All right, cool. Thank you guys and guys so much for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. Socials, if you feel so inclined. The, the Instagrams, the, the, the Twitches, if you will, as usual. Uh, I got to tap the channel, subscribe to help support, get the numbers up. I, I really appreciate it. Liking, commenting always helps the algorithm. The bell lets you know whenever a new video is posted, yada, yada. It's the usual sales pitch here on YouTube, but I, you got to pitch it regardless, right? Stay tuned for that, and thank you so much. Love you all, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one, man. I'll try to come dressed up again as well. Goodbye, travelers. Thank you.